Well, fellas, welcome back. I'm gonna try to do a quick video for you. Uh, 10 round ignition penetration test, okay? This is a uh, long awaited action that just came out. And uh, there's a whole lot of you out there that's wanting to know about the uh, consistency of the ignition. Uh, this is a, it's a new design. PAS ignition, pass ignition system on it. Uh, most of you know what the system is already. Anyway, we'll belay all that. There's a lot of multitude different ways to actually do this test, but uh, this was the simplest and easiest way that I could think of to put it on camera so you can watch it, uh, see for yourself. All right, so I'm gonna go through all 10 of them. Might get kind of lengthy, but we're going to make it as fast as we can. I'm going to tell you how we're doing it, and you can watch it, and then you can just watch me go through it, and we'll try to uh, to uh, get this done for you. All right. So, stared indicator set up. This is a uh, a tenth. It's a one thousandth, not tenth, but a one thousandth of an inch indicator for each sing single graduation. It's a thousandth. Uh, if you guys are not aware of it, just to give you a, an idea, the average human hair is about one to two thousandths thick. So, uh, if you slipped a hair, if you had that zero on a graduation, you stuck a hair in between there, you're going to get one to two movements on them indicated at them graduations right there. Uh, pretty sensitive, okay? When you clean your rifle, don't throw your patches away. You know, some of them when you first start, they're ugly and they, they toss them, but towards the end when it starts to get clean, keep some of your patches. They come in handy. Uh, this is a patch that I've already used, so we're getting more life out of it. I'm cleaning the rim to make sure there's nothing on there. Don't want nothing that would keep it from seating properly when I put it in the uh, chamber. Okay. Oh, you sucker. Well, let me grab another one. fell right down in the stinking uh, tea slots on the mill all right so we're going to clean this one here wipe her down okay and then we're going to take this patch we're going to stuff it in here that's what's going to keep all the debris and the old primer and junk like that that's still in there from getting knocked all in my uh, barrel there speaking of the barrel there's no extractors in it we got it set up at 45 thousandths of head space. Uh, there's no extractor, so we're going to have to use our pocket extractor to uh, extract them. Okay, once fired round, where it's been fired before, we're going to put that at 12 o'clock. And with that at 12, it gives us a clean surface at the bottom for the firing pin to hit. We're going to put this stuffed brass in there we're going to seat it good okay we're going to pull the trigger we're going to ease this down okay we're going to ease that down we don't want to dent the case we don't want to alter or change the case one bit we want it exactly we're going to get an accurate test okay so now we're going to zoom in here and let's see the indicator we're gonna zero this sucker out right here all right so we got zero there let's take her back to uh one and uh yeah you can still see me here we're gonna cock it bring it to battery close her back down and then we're gonna fire it there's your ignition we will zero it out 10, 20, 1, 22. We're 23 and maybe what would be two tenths. Let's zoom her in for you. All right. See, she's just a hair over that 23 mark. We're going to take it back. Let's go back, zoom it all the way out. All right. So now we'll have to use our pocket extraction here. <laughs> I shot the whole last Indoor Nationals using this pocket extraction. Not this particular barrel, but. So, right now, you get the gist of, of what our test is. Uh, to speed things up in here, I've got nine more 
once fired rounds that have been stuffed with a uh, old patch cleaned around it and so we're going to try to just get on this and get 10 rounds done without it being so long that we bore you to death okay now it's sitting up in there good we want it seated fully ease her down again all right we re-zero back out here each case head depending upon the rifle that it was fired in the headspace that it had a lot of variables go into how much that case head expands when it fires and the elasticity of when it contracts back so when you use multiple different rounds here and you put them in there and doing it yeah you may have to it just shows you the difference you may have to reset so the critical spot is re-zero after you get it in there now we're gonna bring her back there's number two 21 22 okay uh, we'll call it 23 but we're probably 22 and nine tenths something I mean it's close enough to I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see it for yourself that's close enough for me to call 23 and I'm not gonna be fretting over that if that's the best that uh, that's the most deviation we can get all right Pull this out. There's number two. We're going to take number. Again, putting it where it's already been fired once at 12 o'clock. That's critical. Seating that deeply in there like it's supposed to. That's critical. Has to fit that chamber. If it don't fit and slide all the way up in there, you're going to get a variation. So there we go. Take that back to zero right there. Bring her the battery. Bang, number three round. Give us 21, 22, 23. 23 and one or two tenths. Uh, there you go. All right. Back out. Now, for those of you that bore really, really easily, uh, you can fast forward to the end of this. I'm going to do it ten times. For uh, the naysayers and everybody else just so that you'll know all right back over so if you don't want to watch it ten times just scoot to the end let me make I don't sit that good okay just scoot to the end and uh, get your final results kind of like cheating I think you ought to hang in there with me. All right, we re-zero back out. I'm trying to be accurate as I can because it's so, so stinking touchy when we're measuring. Okay. Round number four, give us 21, 22, 23. That's, all right, let's bounce her up and let you look at her again. There you go. Coming back. Open her up. Pocket extractor. Today it's a pocket extractor. This afternoon it'll probably be a pocket lathe. I don't know. Some of you call it a pocket knife, but yeah. <laughs> it's on to what you're using it for, folks. Anyway, we'll try to stay serious here. Alright, we're coming along pretty good. This is number five. Cool, yeah, we're doing pretty good. We're already at uh Five. Now that round there, oh, yeah, now nah, it might be easier now, huh? all right, 21, 22, 23, just a tad over, there you go, all right, I'm sure we've already lost those that are not overly excited about this particular test, but uh, for various different reasons, there's a lot of uh, anticipation on this for you folks that uh, maybe you're not quite aware. 
So anyway, bear with us, and maybe the next video will be more interesting for you, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, we're going to zero this perfectly one more time, exactly right there again. All right, bring it back up. Twenty-one, twenty-two and a half. So let me pull this back up. That one there give us about twenty-two and a half. So uh, averaging out, I'm going to say that particular one number one, two, three, four, five, number six is about a half of a thousandth or so less. Uh, so. For uh, reference again, depending upon whose human hair it actually is, the hair is one to two thousandths thick. So you be the judge on whether that half a thousandths would bother you too much. Let's just see if it goes through the rest of the ten without giving us a uh, something crazy or. Something we don't want. Okay, there was zero again right there. Now we're going to cock it. All right. Bang. 21, 22. Now we're at 23. Just to shade over. I'll zoom all of them in so you can see them for yourself. There you go. Let's come on back. Again. We're just doing a 10 round penetration. We're not uh, we're letting y'all make your own decision. We're just doing the test that you know most guys don't have the lathe or a mill set up and the rigidity and the indicators and everything it takes to uh, to do this. So we're doing it for you. See how nice I am? There's some people that would argue that, but hey, that's a whole different topic. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. That one give us twenty-three and maybe point six or seven. It looks like it's just a tad over. Look for it for yourself, okay? There you go. Now let's take her back. All right, let's see if we've done our math. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. All righty. 12 o'clock, fully seated. Pull the trigger. Ease it in. See, if you don't ease this in and you slam it too fast, make a slight dent, then you, then you're zeroing it out will change. And when you fire it, you won't get the same ignition because you already uh, affected it. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. All right, twenty three and about a half. So let's take her up. Let you eyeball it. Zoom it back. What the? Come out of there. All right, now. now this should be number ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10, 10 round penetration test. Get it in there, seated in there good. Look at my camera, I think I bumped it, I can't tell. All right, we're gonna ease this puppy down one more time right there. Zero that out right there. Getting plum giddy, just coming to the conclusion here. All right, now. Yeah, you can see that. Uh, I haven't, I've been bouncing from uh, all the way out back and forth, but there you go, it was the same thing I've been doing, but anyway. Bang. 21, 22, 23 and a half. 
memory serves, I believe that's right, well, maybe it was 23 and two or three tenths, but for all intents and purposes, it ended, bleh, speak it, it ended at the same place it began, which is what we wanted. You're at 23 and about a half, we'll go ahead and zoom it in, done it on all the rest of them, 21, 22, 23 and a half. This particular setup, the way it's set right now, is giving us basically 23 thousandths of ignition uh, with a deviation of you know two or three tenths up to half of a tenth over. And, uh, anyway, I mean, I'd have to watch this video, and if you want to get down to splitting the hairs, I'd have to get a tenth of an indicator and not a one thousandth so that you could measure more precise and then get your calculator out and so anyway this is going to give us close enough but uh you see the results go back watch it again take a pen and pencil write it all down then divide it by 10 tells you what your average ignition is and then you're going to see the variance from the lowest to the highest but there's your ignition okay oh yeah Nitro. I like it. We'll talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoy this.